Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's discussion is going to be on part number 6 of SA 210. Before we start the discussion, a humble request to all of you. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it. And if you like the videos, please hit the like button. And leave your comments in the comment section below so I can know your feedback. Because your feedback really matters. It helps me to be motivated to upload more such videos. And also please keep sharing these videos to all your friends who might find it useful. Thank you so much and let's get back to the discussion. So today's discussion is going to be on this part of SA 210 which we have left. So in SA 210 we understood that we have to agree terms of engagement in the first discussion. In the second discussion we learned the overview and in the third discussion we learned about at the beginning of audit and fourth and fifth we learned about initial order engagement and recurring audit. Now, what does happen if it's not in the beginning of audit but during the course of audit that you agree the terms of audit engagement? Suppose, it is not at the beginning of audit where you accept the terms of engagement but, uh, rather, during the course of audit, the terms of engagement are agreed upon between the client and the auditor. What will happen in that case? So, today's discussion is going to be on that. So, so if you are agreeing the terms of engagement during the course of audit, then the management requests for changes in terms. What is what happens? So management will request for changes in terms. Management will request for change in terms. Now, when the management requests for change in terms, you should determine as an auditor the effect of such change in terms on the level of assurance. We have already discussed that there are four types of assurance in SA 200. In SA 200, we discuss four types of assurance, reasonable assurance, which the auditors actually do. Second one is absolute, absolute is 100%, which is not possible for the auditor. Thirdly, it's a moderate level of assurance and the fourth one is no assurance. So as an auditor, you have to check, determine the effect of this request for change in terms with the management, what effect it has on the level of assurance. Okay. Because as an order, you have to be focusing on giving a reasonable assurance most of the times, right? And reasonable justification. And there should be a reasonable justification for these change in terms. These change in terms should be done with a reasonable justification. There cannot be just what? Just change the terms. No, that cannot be the case. Behind changing the terms, there should be a good enough justification. A reasonable justification. Only then, you should be allowing or accepting such changes in terms. So basically, during the course of audit, management, if you are agreeing the terms of audit engagement, the management will request you for changing in terms, for the change in terms. And they will put up a draft and they will give it to you for this change in terms. Now, you have to, as an auditor, determine the effect on of such change in terms, of such request by the management, on the level of your assurance whether now your absolute assur you not be able to give a reasonable assurance because of this reason and also you have to judge what determine what the reasonable justification you have to determine whether the purpose the reason why they want to are they requesting for the change in terms you need to know the reason you need to get a reasonable justification for the same now if you get these two and you're able to understand the effect of the level of assurance and reasonable justification there can be two scenarios you will be the satisfied with the explanation you are getting or you will be not satisfied. So if the auditor is satisfied, you can just go ahead with the request of the management and you can accept them and you can record a new terms in the new engagement letter, new, record new terms in engagement letter. If you are not satisfied, if you are not satisfied, you should not accept the changes. Basically, if you are satisfied, record the terms in engagement letter. If you are not satisfied, then you have to not accept the changes. If you are not accepting the changes, what is it linking to? Basically, if you have not accepted changes, the management might try to uh, force you to accept them and they will not permit you to continue the audit. So, if management does not permit, does not permit, does not, does not permit, okay, if the management does not permit the auditor to continue, in such a case, what you should do? you got some request from management for change in terms. You determine the level of assurance, you determine the reasonable justification is not there. You are not satisfied because of this. Now you do not accept the changes. Now the management is trying to 
not let you continue the audit in such a situation if the management is not permitting you permitting the auditor to continue the audit then the auditor should withdraw and draft withdraw and report to the appropriate concerned authority you should report to the appropriate concerned authority so a question might arise in your mind that what is this appropriate concerned authority so to be uh, precise in your organizational structure you have management and you have people above them in the hierarchy you have people above them they are called as tc those charged with governance they are called as t c w g okay called as tc w g those charged with governance okay so this tc w g are the people appropriate concerned authority to whom you will report that the management is not permitting you to continue the management is putting restrictions on you okay you should firstly go out from the engagement you should withdraw from the engagement secondly report to the appropriate concerned authority who is that tcwg those charged with governance okay some people above the management are called as those charged governance okay okay guys thank you so much signing off keep support